Good morning and welcome to our ministry area prayers as we gather together once again to pray as a community online. It's my pri privilege to be with you and to lead your worship here this morning. I want to begin by saying thank you to Annette, Annette Jones, who uh, led our prayers for the last couple of days and she did a tremendous job. So it's very encouraging to me as a ministry area leader um, with the team that we're beginning to build to encourage individuals to lead our worship in our ministry area. And I'm delighted that uh, various members of the team have taken up that opportunity. So keep them in your prayers. We thank, we thank them for their willingness, for their courage, and for their bravery to come and sit this side of the screen and to offer worship and praise to us as their gift to God and to our ministry area. So my thanks to Annette for uh, leading us in prayer and in praise over the last couple of days. Well, you only have to look out the window to see what the weather's been like the last couple of days and how Annette managed to get here through the snow yesterday is a miracle in itself. So um, I'd like you to think today about all those people who try and assist and help us through these difficult, challenging times with our climate. Now, that might just be the people who drive the gritters. It might be the delivery workers. It might be all the different people who have to work outdoors uh, whatever the elements. So people such as the bin men and women, the people who collect our rubbish, the people who deliver our post in the morning and keep us connected, whoever it might be, I'd like you to say a prayer. Thank God for the numerous army of workers who work outdoors in all weathers. And we give thanks for uh, their service to us in keeping us comfortable in our homes during this challenging weather. You may also wish to pray for those who are in their homes who find it very challenging and difficult to heat their homes at this time of the year. We've all heard of the challenges of the financial crisis and uh, there are many people who are choosing not to heat their homes. Uh, I say choosing, but they're really left with no choice. Um, they, they have a fixed income, a limited budget, and the bills have simply become too expensive. So if you're one of those people, I hold you in my prayers. And if you know of one of those people, do pray for them, for the situation and the circumstances that they find themselves in as part of our society. So we pray for those who find this season, this cold weather, particularly challenging in their homes. And we pray for those also who work outdoors uh, in all weathers. And so on to our daily prayers. O oh Lord, Open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Almighty God, you fed your people in the wilderness and guided them by cloud and fire, giving commandments to order their lives. Give us eyes to see your purpose, perseverance to follow where you lead, and courage to know the truth that sets us free, that our lives may be blessed and your will may be done. Blessed be God forever. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your life laid down on the cross, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us, that we may praise you. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. God speaks words of comfort to his people through the prophet Isaiah. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. This is my comfort in my trouble. Your promise gives me life. God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Be exalted, Lord, above the heavens. May your glory cover the earth. Renew your church in holiness and give your people the blessing of peace. Keep our nation under your care and guide us in justice and in truth. 
Let your way be known among earth, your saving power among all nations. Do not let the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Let us pray. Guide those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Shelter those who suffer from hunger, sickness, or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. I commend myself and all for whom I pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the light of Christ shine in our hearts. Amen. Thank you once again for joining me for our ministry area prayers. It's been a privilege to lead you in worship here this morning and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning once again at 9am. Uh, we will be leading ministry area prayers every day through Lent and this will be Monday to Friday at 9 o'clock here from the rectory. So I invite you to join me if you're able to do so. If you're not able to join me straight away, then uh, there is the opportunity to catch up with these videos on our YouTube channel and there'll be a link in the comments below this video when I get an opportunity to post it. So if you would like to join us live online, that's Facebook 9 o'clock every morning. And if you can't join us online, do catch up with the videos on YouTube at a later time. You can also download the service book that we use and you can follow through and join in the responses as the various volunteers lead us in prayer each day. So there is a link once again in the comments for you to download that service booklet if you'd like to download it. Of course, there's no reason why you can't hold on to that service book and use it for your daily prayers at other times of the year. We're using it collectively online at the moment, but there's no reason at all why, if you think it's a helpful resource, you can't continue with that and add your own daily prayer and theme for the day uh, as an opportunity to connect with God uh, in your own personal spiritual life. So I commend that to you if that's something that appeals to you. For your personal prayers today, I've invited you to pray for all those people who have to work outdoors in all elements. We've seen the snow outside our windows. We know just how cold and inhospitable our environment can be sometimes. And people work in order to keep us comfortable. So I ask you to pray for anybody who's working outdoors today. And also, of your goodness, to pray for those who find indoors their, their environment is just as challenging as they cannot afford to heat their homes at the moment. So we pray for those in poverty, we pray for those in fuel poverty, and we give thanks for those who serve us working outdoors at this challenging time. So it's been a pleasure once again to join you for Ministry Area Prayers, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. God bless and goodbye.